Hey guys, it's Blackstone Betty. Let's talk hot dogs. Now, I don't eat many hot dogs, so when I do, they gotta be good, and I'm gonna share with you a few ways I enjoy them. Before we jump into it, be sure to go to the Blackstone Products YouTube channel. You know the drill, the bell, the subscribe button. That way you guys don't miss these videos so that you guys can go like them, comment, and all that stuff, share them. Now, let's talk hot dogs. When I think of cooking hot dogs, I like to kick it old school and do them nice and simple, but start with a good brand always, which my number one is Nathan's. I love Nathan's hot dogs. We start this off with two white onions. One, I'm gonna dice up, slide to the side, and save these for the end. For the other onion, I'm gonna slice this up into large rings. This, we're gonna throw down onto our Blackstone griddle. But first, we have to prep our hot dogs. I love lining up these hot dogs and then taking my Blackstone knife, scoring them across in one direction, being sure not to go completely through the hot dog. Spin these hot dogs around and slice the opposite direction. That way, we create a nice X mark score along the whole one side of these hot dogs. For a nice treat and a lot of added flavor, I choose to cook with duck fat. We're gonna drop down just a little bit of duck fat onto the griddle surface and then throw those onion rings that we cut into that duck fat and, and immediately drop down these hot dogs, scored side down into the onions so that these hot dogs are raised off the griddle top and steaming over the onions, nice and low and slow. The hot dogs are gonna absorb a lot of that flavor and begin to heat through. After a few minutes, we're gonna slide our hot dogs off of the onions and directly onto the griddle surface. I like to start with the scored side down first. That way, these hot dogs along that design get that beautiful color as they begin to cook. We're gonna season up our onions with some black pepper, some salt, and a lot of garlic powder because I love my garlic. These hot dogs are looking gorgeous, so let's add them back into that duck fat and those onions and let them finish off cooking together. While they hang out, let's grab some brioche rolls and place them down onto the griddle just for a minute or two to toast up. After our buns are looking nice, hun, let's load them up with those fried onions, top them off with the hot dogs, finish them off with a simple yellow mustard, those crunchy raw onions that we diced. Serve these hot dogs alongside some Nathan's crunchy dill crisp pickles. Oh, and these are ready to go. So easy, so simple. Just traditional hot dogs the way I like them. Now let's roll it over to some Italian style hot dogs. Now for my Italian style hot dogs, I love a really good brand like Burke's griddling these up with some diced up veggies and overloading these into a pita pocket to be a little healthier or a nice chewy soft Italian roll. Oh, I can't get enough of these ones. So let's simply start this off with a little drizzle of my favorite extra light tasting olive oil onto the griddle surface, adding in some diced baby yellow potatoes, some diced onions and diced bell peppers. Now you could use any color bell pepper that you prefer. Season all of that up with some salt and pepper and garlic powder. Let's let these veggies hang out, do their thing, and begin to get nice and tender. As they're cooking, we're gonna jump back to our hot dogs and give them a quick score across one side of the hot dog. Add them in to that flavored oil all over that griddle and those potatoes and onions and peppers and let them finish cooking together as one, finishing it off with a handful or two of diced tomatoes. These tomatoes only need a minute or two cook time, and then we're gonna pull these off, overstuff all that goodness into a nice healthy pita pocket. However, if it was up to me, I'd go for the big chewy soft Italian roll, but I'm trying to be good because next is a not so good one. These are my Old Bay, 
hot dogs, which are a nice treat for once in a while. Jumping back to using Nathan's, these are so fun and the kids love these. We quickly drop down some frozen french fries into the Blackstone air fryer, let them hang out and cook. Now to our Nathan's hot dogs, we're gonna score them up just like before. I love scoring hot dogs because let's face it, hot dogs are not appealing, they are not pretty, there is nothing attractive about a hot dog. So any way I can zhuzh up a hot dog and make it look a little bit more appealing, I'm all for. Plus it really helps to soak up a lot of flavor. We're cooking them in some extra light tasting olive oil. Let them get beautiful on their griddle, they're sizzling away. Give our french fries a little check, a little shimmy shake. Now let's toast up some brioche buns. Once they are done, after a quick minute or two, we're gonna top these off with some Cooper Sharp American cheese. Now, if you don't have Cooper Sharp, use any kind of fresh deli sliced American cheese. You could let this cheese melt into the rolls if you'd like to directly on the Blackstone. I'm just gonna place it atop, grab our french fries, load up each one of these buns with some fries, Give these french fries a nice dusting of Old Bay seasoning. I don't know about you, if you guys like Old Bay as much as I do, let me know in the comments below if you're an Old Bay fan or not. I grew up going down to the beaches down in Delaware at my grandparents' house, always tables full of crabs that my grandfather would catch, load it with Old Bay, everybody's a mess. I love it, I will put it on anything I can, especially come my french fries. Pop those Old Bay fries off with our beautiful hot dogs straight off the griddle. Top them off with some plain old ketchup and these are ready to rock and roll. I love this as a treat for once in a while. Now let's throw in one final hot dog into this video, which I did not video, but I've shared this picture over and over. If you follow me, you know I love loading up tater tots, turning them into what we call tachos off the Blackstone. These are my chili cheese dog loaded tachos. They're a special treat and they go so quick they couldn't be any easier to make on the Blackstone. Everyone in the family loves them. It's a great way to feed a crowd. However you like your hot dogs, so long as they are cooked on the Blackstone, I think it's a winner. So be sure to post some pictures of how you guys enjoy your hot dogs. If you make them any of these ways, I can't wait to see. Be sure to tag Blackstone products, tag Blackstone Betty. Don't forget to go to that Blackstone products YouTube channel. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell. Don't forget to leave us some comments on all of the videos that we post. Like them, share them, invite your friends to join in on this amazing Griddle Nation. Until next time, I'm Blackstone Betty and I will see you guys and some hot dogs soon, I hope.